Hello and welcome back to yet another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create Unicode characters inside of GIMP. I'm using GIMP version 2.10.28, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of video tutorials on here plus free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy, and I will include a discount link to this in the description. Plus, you can get access to more content by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I'll include a link to this, as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's dive right in. Unicode characters are going to be a variety of characters or symbols you can insert into your text. So for example, a bullet point, maybe a biohazard sign or a recycling symbol, various symbols from all types of languages languages around the world you can insert using Unicode characters. So here I am inside a GIMP to demonstrate how this works. I'll hit Control N, which is the same as going to File New. And I'm just going to create a new image that is 1920 by 1080 and click OK. It'll automatically use my background color as the background color here. And I'm going to click right here on the text tool. Right now I have the font set up to Handseif, which is a free font I downloaded online. I do have an entire tutorial on how to download and install free fonts for GIMP. So Handseif is my font, and the size of this is set to 125. And I'll keep all the other values set to the default here. But now I'll come over and click on my composition with the text tool. And with the caps lock key on, I'll type, I like GIMP because Hit the enter key. So now let's create a list that we're going to add bullet points to in a second. So I'll put GIMP is free. GIMP is fast. Hit the enter key. GIMP is safe. Or sage. All right, so now if we want to add the Unicode character, we first have to make sure the caps lock key is turned off. This is a big detail you don't want to miss. This will not work with the caps lock key on. And then I'm just going to come over here and click on the area where I want to insert this into my text. Now I'll hit Control Shift U and you should see this underlined U. If you do not see it, make sure the caps lock key is turned off and also make sure your font supports Unicode characters. But now I'll type the actual code for a bullet point, which I know is 2022. And don't worry, I'll show you where to get these codes in a second. Once you've done that, hit the enter key and now you have a bullet point. So let's add another one here, Control shift u 2022 hit the Enter key, there's another bullet point. Let me highlight this, so you can always Control c to copy, Control v to paste, so you can paste Unicode characters. So what if you want to add a Unicode character that is different than a bullet point? Well, if you come over here to the article version of this tutorial, and you scroll down, I have a little section here titled Where to Find Unicode Character Codes. And I've got a couple of links here. One of the links will lead to this website here. And there's some ads on here. But for example, let's say we wanted to use the trademark here. So the Unicode character is the one that has the U next to it. So U plus 2122. That's what we're going to type in GIMP. So let's come over here to GIMP and hit Control shift u 2122 hit the Enter key. And now GIMP has a trademark next to it. I'm pretty sure GIMP is not trademarked. But just for fun, we're going to put it next to all these. And let's find another example. So let's come over here to Tech. And let's say we want to insert a little video camera. So this one is U plus 1F3A5. So we'll hit the Enter key, Control shift u 1F3A5. So that's a longer one. Hit the Enter key, and now we get this cool little video camera. There are a ton of possibilities with this, obviously, so feel free to look through that link and check out some of the various Unicode characters that are available, and now you know how to insert them using the text tool with GIMP. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.